Hey everyone, this is Laura from Lime and Joy, and today I'm gonna to go ahead and do some savings challenges and hopefully motivate you in your savings goals and paying off debt. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, this is Laura from Lime and Joy. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a wife, a medical coder, and a mom of six, and I'm on a journey to become debt-free and break generational cycles of debt so the next generation can live and give like they were meant to. So if that interests you, I'd love for you to subscribe, be part of the Lime and Joy community, and also hit that like button so others can find this savings challenge video and be hopefully inspired and motivated to save on their journey. All right, so let's get straight into it. We're gonna get into the savings challenge book, but first I wanted to just to give you a little quote out of The Psychology of Money. This is my fave book right now. I love it, my favorite money book. Um, really good if you're just starting out on your savings journey and maybe you're in debt and you're ready to kind of change your mindset and make a good financial plan going forward. This is a good book to start with. Okay. Um, while I was thinking about savings challenges, I've been thinking a lot about 2024, thinking about what I'm gonna do on my vision board and what I wanna accomplish. But as I finish this year strong, I wanted to think and review over it. This particular quote came up out of this book and I thought it would be good just to share with you. It's really short and easy. It says here, there are two things to keep in mind when making what you think are long-term decisions. We should avoid the extreme ends of financial planning, and we should also come to accept the reality of changing our minds. And it goes into making it too extreme is gonna make you fall off the bat, man wagon for many of us, or we're gonna have regrets, and also changing our minds is something we're allowed to do. And I just thought it was really, a, it's been my philosophy the whole time that you have to do what works for you. I love Dave Ramsey, and his uh, baby steps are tried and true and proven, but for me, I kept falling out of it because it was just too extreme. And so I've kind of made my own way of saving money and paying off debt and doing savings challenges is one of them for me. You need to figure out what works for you. Okay, and I'll explain that as we go a little bit. Let's just get straight into this. Uh, this is my savings challenge binder. And in here, basically, I do all kinds of different savings for things that would potentially put me back into debt if I didn't have. And then I do fun savings challenges like this one right here that's just for me to save up more to pay towards my debt. So I have my snowball going, just like Dave Ramsey says, but I also take anything extra I'm getting from you know, some digital products that I sell, some yard sales, side hustles, and I'm throwing it towards debt. So that's what this money comes from that we're gonna go through in just a minute. Let me get myself set up on our first one, which is the 2023, saving $23, 23 times in 2023, which I think is super fun, but we're coming to a close. So I actually think I might color all of them. We'll see. Let's go ahead and uh, add up this money and see how much we're working with today, okay? So we have the 100. Let's go right here, 100, and let's do 20s. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 780. All right. And we now have 10s. We have 10, 70 and 10s. And for fives, we have five, 10, 50 and fives, whoop. And then for ones, we have one, two, 16 dollars in ones. Oh, that's money crazy here, okay. So $1,016 is what we're working with today. Let's see if I push this back a little bit, give us a little bit more room. Let's see here, there we go. Okay, that's how much work with there. And then there is the calculator. Okay, let's go ahead and color these. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of side hustles, trying to make some extra money. My sno debt snowball is going. I've been thinking a lot about just how much I wanna pay off my debt, how desperate I wanna get out of this situation. And so, I really want to do these ones. 
um, which are just savings challenges that I do to pay off my debt because there's nothing particularly assigned to it. Like for instance, you know, my car registration savings challenge is clearly just for car registration. And you know, my holiday Christmas is for Christmas, but the ones that don't have anything are for my debt. And I am so motivated to get done with this debt as fast as I can. So let's go ahead and color these and let's finish the 23s for 2023, especially because we're moving into Christmas and that time of time of year is super busy and hard to save lots of money. So I wanna throw as much money as I can at the debt first. All right, I got a few different coloring things here. Let me go ahead and get started. All right, that's it. We did it. We saved $23, 23 times savings challenge for $5.29. I am super excited just to have accomplished one. So let's, that was 11.23. So let's see, 11 times 23 equals 2.53. We have a ton of 20. So let's do that. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, and one, two, and three. All right, let's count this. Let's see here, got that. All right, perfect. Go ahead and count it. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29, 529. Woohoo! I'm so excited that we did it, guys. Okay, so I'll have to do a cash on stuffing so that I can take that to the bank, which will be exciting. And we'll cut down on my little envelope there. So that's wonderful. I can't wait to do a 2024 one. We'll have to see about that. Now for my one month ahead. Now my one month ahead is a like a, um, a tracker. And we're not gonna do too much here today. We're just gonna do, let's just do a 10 because I got so much going on in my last one. Cause I was trying to do debt. And this is more getting ahead, which, you know, if you did Dave Ramsey perfectly, he would say, don't even get ahead. But for me, if I don't have multiple things going on just because of who I am, I just lose steam and then I'm not paying off my debt at all. So I just do tiny bits. I know you get there faster if I just focus on the debt. Okay, 240 is what we have going on in one month ahead. And this tracker just means that 200 of it is um, in my high yield savings account earning interest for me. I'm also hoping that helps with my savings so that when I'm done paying all this off, the little bit that I did have on the side saving is making money for me. Okay, next is my car registration. We do have a savings challenge for that. I believe it's right up here in the front. Let me see here. Yep, okay, and move that over. Uh, let's just do, again, let's just do a small one here. We'll just do the 27, because I'm doing okay in car registration right now. All right, there we are with that one. So 27, do 20, five, six, and seven. What we got going on in here? We have 20s, two fives, and one. All right, car registration, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, one, uh, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 101. So that's great. And again, I'll just take this once it, I do a cash and stuffing, put it in my high yield savings account and let it accrue more interest there while it waits to be paid. I just paid a car registration. So I don't think I have another one for a few months, but we'll see. Holiday and uh, Christmas is kind of my fun one. This one we're gonna do uh, Scratcher. 
And because Christmas is so soon, I want to make sure it gets done at least by November. We're in October. I only do one savings challenge a month. So we're going to do half of these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's do five of them. So let's do with this one here. Okay, 25. And another one uh, here. Thirty. And this one here. Fifteen. Uh, you know what? Let's put a five back and let's take a twenty. It's three, so two more. Let's do this one here. Twenty there. And one last one. Let's do right here. just five so there we go for my Christmas I love doing things like this I have one uh, actually because it's so close I have a, a Christmas one going in my daily my savings my cash stuffing savings one I'm doing too but this one's on the side because holidays can be expensive okay and it does say Christmas but it's holiday or Christmas so it's gonna go towards Thanksgiving it'll go towards the whole bit and gander. Let's see how much we got going on here. So far, we have 150, 220, 40, 60, 80, 320, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 400. There we go, right? One, two, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, yes, four. 400 it is. Perfect. So we're getting there. So we only have about 100 left for this savings challenge. And then we'll just keep doing another one like I showed last time. Let me see here. I am working on my Black Friday ones, which are fun. But I do these with my daily cash stuffings. And they should be done, I hope, right before uh, Black Friday. And that way I'll be able to catch any deals for my home, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, whatever it may be, um, which is awesome. Okay. There we go with that one. Next we have house in Reno. And again, this I have a little tracker going with this. So having the multiple savings of like doing a savings book and some trackers and some scratchers, this is what helps like keep it fun, right? Gotta have fun in savings, just transferring it. I just would lose zeal on that so quickly. Um, okay, for Reno, let's do, you know what? Let's do a helmet. We'll just do one of these this time. All right, so that's 10 there. Uh, what do we got going on? We got 20, 40, 60, and 80. And this one I'm hoping will be one of my main focuses next year because there's just things that we have to do around the house. When you own a house, you don't get a choice, right? Things break, things happen. Okay, next for sports, I have this one here. And I got some big sports stuff coming up, so... I think I'm going to do two of these tens and I'm going to do two of these fifteens uh, for 50 today. I know that's a lot, but I know it's coming up quick where I have a few hundred dollars that I have to pay for some rugby stuff. And, um, and so it's best if I start saving large amounts for that. All right. And we had just emptied that out for the sport beforehand. Okay, emergency savings. And I was asked this before why I'm saving other things without emergency fund. This is my second emergency fund. So it's important to start with a thousand before you start paying your debt. And that I have, but because I'm a large family, if I don't have a little bit more than a thousand, it just doesn't go very far for an emergency. Okay, let's go ahead and let's color 
one here and let's just do 15 to all right perfect so what do we got going on here we have 20 40 50 60 65 and 70 dollars on my emergency fund so that's great plus the 200 that's already sitting in my wealth front let your money savings actually make money for you, right? My wealth front's at 5% right now, so the interest is occurring is really good. Especially with everything else in the deflation, if you don't have your money into a high yield savings account, I am telling you, you're losing money with your money in the bank. Don't do that. Put it in a high yield savings account. Better yet, and when you're really well off and not on debt anymore, start investing it into things like stocks, real estate, things like that. Okay, college, let's go here. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do this 20 today and we're gonna times it by two, so let's do that. All right, there it is, 20, so let's grab some a 40. And I had just emptied it because I'm trying to match my Daughters, whatever she pays, we pay. So she's really motivated. Her loans get paid off really quick. So I'm hoping that will inspire her. Um, vacation. All right, we are going to do. We have a. We're planning one for the uh, Christmas season. I'm saying that quietly so my kids do not hear it. Um, so I think that we're gonna need a little extra going on here. So let's do four. And I just have been loving this. I will link this one below. I just think that the quality of the stickers are really nice, but also like I absolutely love that they can just go together. So that's 40 for the vacation. Let's grab 40. All right, and next is my savings challenge. Last one in my binder here. And it's gonna be, we've done spring and we still haven't finished summer so we are just gonna finish summer today because i'm excited to get into fall okay y'all and that's what i'm excited about so let me just do this really quick So 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? Okay, so let's do 50. All right, so let's see here what we have. So we should have, let's see if I did it right. We should have, I was supposed to do times, I did, oh, I didn't do times two here. So I just did 100 and this was supposed to be, but I totally been ignoring that. So we should have 100 uh, and 100, we should have 200 bucks in here. Let's see if we do. If not, we'll pull our extra to make it even because, you know, uh, yeah, things happen. So let's just make sure this is also going to debt. So 50, 1, 20, 40, 60. 70, 80, 90, 100, and there's some extra in here. I have no idea why, so we're just gonna run with it because debt needs it all. Okay, perfect. It's gonna all go to debt. That's awesome. A little over 200 there. But before we go on, you know what? I can't help but want to get in to fall. So I think we should. I think we should, guys. Um, Let's just do a little bit here. Let's not get crazy with it, but let's do a little bit. Let's see, I'm trying to get my colors all organized. All right. Let's do the, a pumpkin for sure. All right, so we're gonna do five, uh, six, and seven today. And 
and so it's going on to fall there we go with that that's exciting guys finally on to fall it's exciting that we finished our 2023 savings challenge and finally our summer is done and finally our spring's done so that's super exciting okay let's go ahead and go into a scratcher now all right well i have a few just a few more to finish up things I have my uh, grow your savings and my roll the dice and my birthday one. So let's do this birthday one first. My son's birthday and my husband's birthday is next week. And so to be honest with you, I just want to get it all done so I have all the money to put towards it. So let's see here. We got, uh, let's put this here. We have five and then another five here, 10 and a charcuterie board is that not the cutest thing in the whole world oh my gosh 5 10 and 15 there we go with that and then the presents are 10 each so 25 and 35 dollars into the birthday fund that's exciting let's do this 20 25 30 35 dollars so it should be 150 let's go ahead and check that 150 is what should be in here these are also these sticker ones i will link below because i really thought they were kind of fun it's nice to have the coloring ones but i also like just having different ones to choose from we have 20 40 60 81 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 dollars cool i did that one right 150 dollars is what is in our birthday fun that is all complete i'm super excited i think it's really cute all right that one's done so now let's do this grow your savings and you know what i think i've decided i'm just going to scratch it all because I had a little bit of the extra money. And again, this one goes towards my debt. I'm just feeling motivated. So why not get it all scratched and send it off to my debt payment? All right, so we have 20 and 30, another 50 going on here. Let's see how much we now have. We should have 200, it's what's showing, showing 250. Let's see if that's true. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 45, and a 50, woo! Oh my goodness, that's the second one for today that I finished to go to debt, so I'm excited about that. That one and the 2023 one will be going to debt. So that's exciting. Last little one and before we do our 100 envelope challenge, which I am, I, I just love this one because look at, if you are just beginning savings and this is the one for you, okay? Or if you wanna get your kids motivated, maybe they don't have much or whatever, then this would be a good one for them to do as well. Let me go ahead and get a coloring. All right, let's go ahead and roll. We got six dollars, so let's do a five and six right over here, and let's find a six and color that one in. All right, let's roll one more time. Two. I don't know, let's do it one more time here. Five, good, okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and five, perfect. Okay, so what do we have going here? We have tons and tons of ones going on. All right, we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 
49, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. So look at it, it adds up 62 already. I'll be excited. This one will also just go to debt and makes it fun. All right, our very last one is our 100 envelope challenge. And I love to throw some money at it, but I'm trying not to get carried away as this is for savings. Um, I want to make sure that I'm still focusing more on debt than savings. So if you missed my video last time, this is really fun. These are uh, prop uh, money placeholders for when these get filled. And when I do a cash on stuffing every time, I will unstuff these and take it to the bank, which is nice because it's at my high yield savings making money for me. So the first one, I think we'll be able to like do one or two. Um, first one we have is 160. Let's see how much I left over with last time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need another 120, 40, and 50, making it 160, right? 120, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Perfect. 160 there. And I don't think we'll be able to complete the next one, but that is all right. Let's see here. 74 is what it's going to be. And we have 41. So we'll put the 41 into the next one. We'll keep saving and filling that one for uh, next time. And then once I do a cash on stuffing, I will unstuff the ones that I do have. They're really neat. I like that they kind of stick out so you can see them. I don't know if you can see that on screen or not, but um, yeah, so you can still see like which ones are completed and which ones aren't because they're holding that prop up and it's really easy to determine which ones are and which ones aren't, okay? Anyway, there is the 100 envelope savings. I hope that you found some maybe ones that motivate you, ones that you like. Um, and you can go ahead and start your savings and debt payoff journey right away. As always, I want you to find joy in your journey and I'll put a video here on how you can increase your income with some side hustles so that hopefully you can find freedom in the journey and always I'll see you next time.